The broadcast is brought to you by students of Hilo High School, KVIX Media.
everybody, round of applause for the Hilo High Guitar and Ukulele class. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Hokulani and I will be your MC today as we welcome you here to our 2023 Mayday Hoike. We ask that you show respect indoors by removing all hats and sunglasses at this time. We are now ask all teachers and staff to please monitor your areas of responsibility so that everyone is participating in this common custom. We also ask that everyone please be respectful throughout the show. We now ask that everyone please stand and remain standing as we introduce you to our 2023 Mayday Court as they make their way to, up to the stage. Our Kanaka Pool, our Alkea Kariaga, and Kelly E. Davis. Holding the sacred pool of Ulo'u is Keao Bas. Our Kanaka Oli, our chancellor for our royal court is Manaya Paolali Torres. Adorning leaves of Hina Hina and wearing the color of gray to represent the youngest island according to Hawaiian mythology, Ahoolawe. The island of Niihau is represented by Kuamalu Kaloe and Carly Shane Wakayama. They are wearing the beautiful shells to represent the island's Kuku o Niihau. Representing the island of Kauai, we have Tere Dikanto Garo and Ayana. Helena Napoleon. They are wearing purple and adorned with leaves of Wokihana berry around their neck to represent Kauai and its flowers. Representing the island of Oahu is Darius Hau and Paige Shaasan. They are both looking great wearing the island's delicate Ilima flower around their neck and decked in yellow as it is the island's color. Aiden Sotelo Karirao and Aluhia Saiki honor the island of Lanai Kaula beside the orange color of Lanai. They are also representing the island with Kauna Oa in their lanes. Jadis Castillo Robinson and Jordan Faranda Kamoku represent the island of Molokai, looking amazing in their green attire. They honor the island with the adornment of Kukuina lanes. Representing the island of Maui, we have Tristan Jose and Kayla Ventura Santos. Pink is the island's color and is represented in their beautiful Lokelani lanes. The islands of Hawaii or Mokuokeave is represented by Michael Di Coito and Tiala Kailianu Carvalho. The color red and the lehua are the embodiment of our home island Hawaii. And now 
for the moment you have been waiting for. Our Mo'i Wahine or Queen is the lovely Melin Alohalani Ramos. She is being accompanied by her princess in waiting, Thea Ramos. Our Mo'i Kane or King is the ever charismatic Kinen Farmi Shin. He is accompanied by his young prince, Winston Henry Kamakana Okalani Raymond Shin. Their Kahili barriers are Kainalu Kyokuhiva, Rylan Ishii, Lee Marvin Ugalde, and Noel Swope Souza. Presenting the ladies, crowns, and cape to our king and queen are their families. Malin's royal crown and ladies are being given by her parents, Dina Ramos and Darren Ramos. Keenan's royal cape and lays are being presented by his mother and his grandmother, Vanessa Sarmi and Faith Shin. We present to you our 2023 May Day Court.
Mahalo no ilua for your respect. You may now be seated as we continue with our program. <laughs> this year, our theme is Like no Ikalai o Hanakahi, which means we are all the same in the calm of Hanakahi. This Olelo no Ea was chosen to mirror our school's theme of Viking diversity paints our future. We all welcome, we all come from different backgrounds and have different things going on in our lives and may not get along at all times. However, we all can find similarities between us that binds us together. The mere fact that we are all Vikings makes us unique and one big ohana, whether we like it or not. We want to showcase this diversity and togetherness with our Mayday Hoike this year. Introducing the early college classes Papa Ai Kapu and Papa Olelo Hawaii, who will perform three hay ritual string figures that they have learned over the semester. And Papa Ai Kapu and Papa Olelo Hawaii Mahalo for showcasing the birth of the Hawaiian Islands. You and I, amidst the beauty of Hilo Hanakahi, the dancers of Nalikolehua or Hilo Hanakahi pay tribute to our Mo'i, Hawaii, and Okalakoa, also known as. Kahiku o Nalani, the seventh sovereign of our heavens. In this mele, we take you to the different areas in Hilo as it mentions the many different beautiful landscapes found there. However, does it really speak of that or is it the beauty that is being portrayed 
one of a companion instead. We leave that decision to you. So, please put your hands together as we welcome the dancers of our own hula class as they share this hula entitled, Kawa Ikananiya Ohilo. How about a round of applause to the lovely ladies of Nalikole Hua o Hilohanakahi? You TikTokers out there, how about that for a dance challenge, yeah? Oh.
Oame is a piece written by Chad Nakagawa of Taishoji Taiko. Oame is a composition about the different types of the rain we experience here in Hilo. It starts off with a slight breeze, then a gentle drizzle. The song cultivates in a thunderous downpour with lightning and thunder. This year, the Hilo High Taiko Club would like to thank the Hilo High Foundation for the generous donation for eight taiko drums from Japan to be purchased this school year. The Hilo High Taiko Group would also like to give a huge mahalo to Mrs. Kuule Arcio for giving us a home and practice area on campus. Here is the Hilo High School Taiko Club Oame.
One more time about another round of applause for our Hilo High School Taiko drum. Oh, you could feel the mana in that drum beats, yeah? Okay, so who like join the Taiko Club next year? What about Nali Koleho, Hilohana Kahi, Gazana Dansula too? They look like they're ready for Mary Monarch. Our next melee speaks of a radiant light that shines in times of darkness. This vena is a light that provides a path to happiness, even though it may be hard to find at times. A vena mentioned can also be a way to understanding oneself. Our queen will dance this melee and dedicate it to her Auntie Deborah, who has been a vena for her or light to Alohalani, as she was the one who inspired her to dance hula in the first place and has shown her how to love and appreciate it. She was the first in her family to dance hula and that desire for this art has been passed down to Alhalani. Since her auntie passed away, her parents have been the vena for her that she needed and constantly reminds her of how proud her auntie would be with the path she's taking today, especially with hula. Please welcome our queen Alhalani as she dances the song entitled Vena.
One more time, how about a round of applause for our beautiful Mo'i Wahine and that lovely hula. We now like to introduce a duet dancing Tahitian as an honor to the court. Please put your hands together for Isley Ray Agliam and Maluhia Hamara. So that beautiful Tahitian hula. We now like to welcome up our king who will now perform a mele known as Mahalo e Hilohanakahi. This mele recognizes the many beauties of our home, Hilo. Kinen chose this song because of the words and the story it tells. Hilo is where he was raised and has made so many memories, and this song commemorates his journey here. And because of that, it will be with him wherever he goes. With this song, Keenan sends a big mahalo to Hilo High for the four years of memories with friends and family and the many accomplishments that has made, he has made so far. Mahalo to family, especially Grandma Faith for the smiles on, the, on his face and mom and brother for being the two strongest people he knows. Keenan dedicates this dance to his dad, Randolph David Bully Shin Jr., for all that he has taught him. The laughs and the most importantly, the love. 
Although he is not here, you are forever in his heart. This one is for you. Ladies and gentlemen. Mahalo to our Moikane for taking us around Hilo. Okay, you folks ready? Put on your seatbelts because we're going to take a trip across the Pacific. We will now bring to you Hilo High School's very own Filipino club performing two very fun dances. Mabuhay, Hilo High! Ang aming unang sayaw ay tinatawag na pandango sa ilaw. Our first dance is called pandango sa ilaw. Ang pandango sa ilaw ay isang sikat na katutubong sayaw sa Pilipinas. Pandango sa ilaw is a very popular folk dance in the Philippines. Sinasabing nagmula ito sa Mindoro, ang ikapitong pinakamalaking isla sa Pilipinas. It is said to have originated from Mindoro, the seventh largest island in the Philippines. Ang sayaw ng mga ilaw na ito ay ginagaya ang mga alitap-tap sa dapit hapon at sa gabi na hinuhuli. Please welcome, from the islands of the Philippines, the Filipino club dancers performing Pandango sa Ilaw. Thank you. 
Ang aming susunod na pagtatanghal ay tinatawag na tinikling. The next, our next dance is called tinikling. Sinasabing ang sayaw ay nagmula sa isla ng Leyte sa rehiyon ng Visayas. The dance is said to have originated from the island of Leyte in the Visayan region. Ang sayaw ay inspirasyon ng mga galaw ng mga ibon, partikular ang tikling bird na kilala sa mabilis at maliksi nitong galaw. The dance was inspired by the movements of the birds, especially the tickling bird, which is known for its quick and nibble movements. Ngayon, ang tinikling ay kinikilala bilang pambansang sayaw ng Pilipinas. Today, the tinikling is recognized as a national dance of the Philippines. Please welcome from the Pearl of the Orient Seas, the tinikling dancers of the Filipino Club. Applause for Filipino Club. Salamat po. We'd now like to take you on a trip to Hiloone, otherwise known to you as Bayfront. The wahine of our royal court will share this melee that reminisce of a time at Hilo One with a loved one and the beautiful views that were seen there. Together there on the sands of Hiloone, 
we will become one with nature and are reminded how lucky we are to live here. Do you know these places that surround our home of Hilo? Next time you visit Bayfront, please look around you and take in the scenery and let it remind you of the beauty of these ladies mm -hmm. and the mele entitled Kaua i Hilo One. for showing us our beauty of our hometown.
Once again, round of applause for our Lloyd ladies of the Royal Court and Amo Iwahine. Our next performers are more than grateful to share the unique culture and traditions of the Western Pacifica, Samoa. Samayuti o Samoa, which in the beautiful Samoan language translates to the children of Samoa. The storyline covers the young dancers in today's performance and their many bright ideas into putting the showcase together for all of you. So we ask for you to give a round of applause for our Hilo High School's Tamaiti Osamoa.
Thank you. 
for our maintenance crew. Good job, thank you. Mahalo to the Samoan Club. And we're gonna keep it moving, moving right along. We'd like to welcome up our Kane from our Royal Court. They dance a melody describing how the talented Paniolo or Cowboys of Waimea come together to mount the bulls and ride the Broncos until they break. Working together, these Waimea Cowboys show you how to lasso, tie, and mug in record time. Hang on to your saddles, everyone, as the Kane take you to Karodio or Waimea. to walk up, welcome up the rest of the royal court to the stage to dance our final hula. This final melee reminds us to work together as the people of Hawaii. We're reminded to this song and the many mo'olelo no oyaos that are sung in this song. No matter where we come from and how different we may be, we must always remember to put our differences aside and to work together as one to be successful. Like our theme says, Liki no i kala'i o hanakahi. We're all the same in the calm of hanakahi. So please put your hands together for the Royal Court as they dance Alulike. Ah, 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 ah,
for all of you who came together to make this Mege Hoiki a success. We hope you enjoyed this week in the program and we hope that you join us tonight at 6 p.m. We now ask that everyone please stand and remain standing as we partake in the singing of Hawaii Aloha followed by our Hilo High School alma mater. Yeah. 